Now, normally when someone asks me to fix a Mac, I do that with it. But on this case, he got a little bit angry and I thought I should probably do something. So, it needs a new hard drive. I'm going to show you how to replace it. This is a MacBook Pro 13 inch. And we're going to flip it over and open the back case up. Normal positive drive screwdriver opens it up and the back pops off just like that, revealing all the components on the inside. So we've got the hard drive there, disk drive, CPU, spins around there, underneath it, the RAM and the battery. And we've got the battery which connects to the motherboard just there. Now we need to unhook that if we're going to be changing any hardware components. So to unhook it you'll need your fingernails and a flat blade screwdriver. This thing pulls up and out of the socket and as you can see there it is now out and we can remove the hard drive. So I'm just going to move the camera in so you can see it get a, bit, a little bit closer. See the pins point upwards and it does not slide out, it just pulls up off the motherboard. And there is the hard drive we're going to remove. This hard drive is faulty and Apple refused to replace it for whatever reason. So to remove it, we've got the little arm here, it's got two little screws on it. There's one there and one here. The screws don't come out of the actual arm so you just need to pull it up and out. And the hard drive has a nice tab on it which you just pull. And take the SATA connectors off, do not pull that wire out, it will be a much bigger job. And here is the hard drive we're going to be replacing it with. Comes with a nice anti-static bag and some instructions on fitting your hard drive to your laptop. Of course Macs are different so I made this video. Here is the new hard drive, it's 500 gig, twice the size of a normal hard drive. But we need to remove these four little screws from the old hard drive. They use a star shaped screw so you will need some security screwdrivers. And there's four of them, one in each corner, but they will do plug in to the new hard drive, like so. Spin it round, and you can do this by hand. You can't get them out by hand, but you can put them in by hand. And this is just so it rocks into the uh, drive bay and does not move around when you're moving your laptop around. So we're going to put the SATA connectors back on, slot it into the drive bay, and we're going to re-add this arm thing that holds it in place. There it is, two screws, simple as that. Got to get it the right way around. And then it just slots down and screws in. But now comes the fun part. You've got to put your original Mac OS discs inside your Mac laptop. And when it boots up to this screen, you know you're in right. You had to hold C to make it boot to disk. And it will come up with this screen eventually after about five minutes or so. Installing OS X 10. However, if it does not come up with this screen, you may need to do one of the following. One, use your own Mac disk. And the other option is to reset your NVRAM, which you open with Option, Command, and P and R until it beeps. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. You gotta love it.